Back now with the latest on what was Hurricane Hillary, now the first tropical storm to strike California in more than 25 years. The system is downgraded and moving out, but leaving several communities flooded and without power. ABC's Tim Pulliam has the latest. From California to Nevada, millions of Americans starting the work week under flood warnings as Hillary moves north. Relentless rain from the now post-tropical storm causing historic flooding and dangerous mudslides. The heavy downpours crushing rainfall records. Parts of San Bernardino County, California hit with 10 inches of rain. Roads in the mountain region becoming impassable. First responders ordering people to shelter in place, some choosing to evacuate. All right, now we're going to board up the door so that way try to reduce as much water going in and just go chill over at my sister's house away from all the water. The storm making landfall Sunday evening near Baja, California, Mexico, bringing wind speeds of up to 84 miles per hour. Several communities wrecked with fallen debris and downed trees. In the desert, Palm Springs receiving more than half its annual rainfall on Sunday alone. In Las Vegas, Florida water rushes through a casino parking lot. The storm forcing the cancellation of hundreds of flights. And in the middle of Hillary's wrath, a 5.1 magnitude earthquake about 80 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles. Chief, I'm really sorry to interrupt you right now. Uh, our, our studio is shaking right now, so not only are we dealing with a tropical storm, but it appears we are now dealing with an earthquake. Experts say the storm had nothing to do with the quake. So far, no major injuries to report with the earthquake or the storm in Los Angeles. The second largest school district in the country is closed today. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Glendale, California.